Um, wanted to share a little bit about this uh, competition we have going on in March. Now we are a small church plant, we're three years in. I have a feeling, you know, budget is going to be a challenge for a long time and even more established churches. Budget is always a challenge. So that's part of our big uh, goal for this month is that we would reach, uh, meet our budget of $14,907. And so um, this is a great month to either take a step towards giving if you're, if you're up for that, whether a big step or a small step. Um, and in addition to that, we're trying to raise funds for a much needed equipment trailer. So that would be our goal is that we would meet our general fund this month in, a, in about $4,500 to $5,000 in excess to purchase a trailer. And you might think, well, it sounds kind of boring, not really that important. But if you are Dave or I or Alicia or any of the setup team, you would understand that we have been putting all of the stuff into our personal vehicles. And so today I went to give some rides to some guys and had to kind of clear out the car. It was already cleared out, but had to move the seat up. All of these things, it is a very much needed uh, purchase for the next step of our, of our church. So that when you invite your neighbors and your friends, um, we can do what we do on a Sunday morning and help people get plugged in to serve loading stuff on and off of the trailer. Um, so it's, it's, it's a good thing. It's a really, really good thing. You, you've maybe noticed if you've been here the last several months that we've been trying to take steps uh, of our overall sound quality and uh, you know, opportunity to, to see PowerPoint and stuff like that. So who was here with the first Sunday we met in the Boys and Girls Club and we met over here and we tried to put up a little tiny uh, PowerPoint display. And so we're trying to take steps as a church plant. So this is a, one of those steps. So I'd encourage you, uh, please give to the equipment trailer above and beyond your normal giving, and you can indicate that online um, under church plant fund, correct? Yeah. And these are the ways to give, and we talked briefly about this last week. Most people give online, super simple. Uh, you can give check or cash in the black box back there. Um, one of the cool things, so we are a young church plant and, um, you know, and COVID impacts, I think, almost every field, every industry, every organization, most families. Uh, but we've been able to um, navigate this pandemic pretty well and continue to be generous out of our neighboring fund. So uh, when the, when the uh, weather got super, super cold and there were a lot of people being put up in... Um, I think it was the Super 8, the Be Able Community Center put folks up in the Super 8. We were able to give to the Be Able Community Center out of our neighboring fund to help those types of things happen. So we're gonna keep using that neighboring fund, um, but we do need to keep shoring up just sort of the internal needs of our church as well. So there's a little note on March gladness. All right, let's make it fun. Gladness, generosity, more blessed to give than to receive all the things, generosity begets generosity. It can kind of be fun once you start seeing God move a little bit. 